Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we entered the Fendrana Drift's deeper part area, and we managed to fight Thardis to be able to obtain the Spider Ball. And now we are going to make our way back to Flogras's camp, um, Flogras, uh, um, place. But first, you want to actually use a super missile in this specific location. Uh, specific location, the lava lake. When you end up now. I think you can't really scan the rock area because of um, reasons, but one of the Chozo things is I'm saying that it's in this location. So we end up grabbing it, and this is our third Chozo artifact. I wanted to actually showcase where it was before I accidentally shot the thing, and the next thing you know, you guys don't even know where it is. This is the artifact of nature. Rules of nature! Yeah! Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> but first off, I screeched saying that. <laughs> Anyways, that is another retreatment unlocked. Anyways, we want to head back to the Chozo Ru As I stated before in the last episode, we're going to head back to the Chozo Ruin entrance in the back part to where Flogar was located. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get that done, shall we? Oig. I gotta say, though. This game is not near in the end yet because we haven't really found the final area yet, but eh, we're getting there. Are we? No, not really. We got a long way to go. First off, we don't even have all the all four beams. Funny enough, once you've actually gotten all four beams, the game is actually relatively almost done. Because that, by that point, you actually enter, you're actually in the final area, and funny enough, the you don't even get the plasma beam in that area. You get the plasma beam in this area, and it's weird. I mean, it makes sense. Ice, um, fire area. Then again, it doesn't really make any sense why you get the wave beam in a wave area, but, yeah, you guys will understand why I kind of think it's kind of weird. I mean, I understand why from a gameplay standpoint, but from a coloration standpoint, I don't get it. <laughs> Like the ice beam will be in an ice area, you think, and the plasma beam is like the only beam that's actually in the right location, and it's blocked behind an ice beam door, which makes no logical sense. Gonna be blocked behind a normal door. It kind of makes me wonder: Are you supposed to actually get through that door if you need the ice beam, anyways? All right. So, uh, first off, okay, we're not gonna, we're actually not gonna go down there. We're actually, we are gonna go back to the sun chamber. Okay, so we need to head back from this direction. First things first, however, get rid of the hives, cause the thing about these guys is that they keep respawn, they keep respawning, and to be honest, I am not a huge fan. Uh, where's the last one? There we go. Not many people actually realize that too, cause you kind of wonder, wondering why the crap they keep respawning, and then you realize that you're having such trouble and blah. Anyway, so as it says, the cries of this dying land echo in our ear as we chose to watch the great poison seep ever, ever further into the living poles of the planet. The dark energy sinks into the trees and waters, devouring all life. Peaceful, peaceful beasts die by the thousands. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutated monstrosities remain small enough to do little harm, but others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. One such beast defiles our sacred fountain, discour uh, wait, discour discouraging poison from its foul form, replacing pure flowing water with cascades of creeping death. Even in the face of such horror, we Chozo do not turn in fear. We are all that stands in the way of this great poison, and it is our duty to contain it. And that they're talk <clears throat> that Chozo lore is actually talking about Flagra, which makes sense considering Flagra is the source of the poison water. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Alright, so you need to go ahead and actually hit those things, those two things first. So, regardless, you would need super missiles to even get to this point. You can actually use the thermal goggles to go ahead and see where all the um, little symbols are located. Because, you know, you can do that. And it has the capabilities of doing that. And I like it. So, yeah. We will be heading back to the main part of the Fendrana Drift. So, don't worry, guys. We won't. I won't be missing anything. I hope. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's done, there's kind of like a lot of things we can get. The main reason as to why now there is, we can get ourselves a missile upgrade, a super missile upgrade for our wave beam. I don't want to do that just yet 
mainly for two reasons. One, it's a bit on the why side for two. For one of the reasons is is because okay, why did can I scan you guys? Because you know I kind of need you guys. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Ah, there we go. Gotcha. Oculus wall crawling that generates electric pulse. The Oculus exposes its single eye when activated. The electrical field that covers it is enough to tear to tear most predators. If the Oculus detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it retracts it. It retracts into its imper impenetrable shell. I can read. Actually, I'm sucking right now. <laughs> I should probably just stop. But they always say that the best way to be able to learn how to read is try is just you know doing. Cause if you don't, and you know you, you read it out loud, and sometimes freaking crap. All right, you guys are really getting on my nerves. All right, sheesh. Thank you. My god, that should not have taken that long. Alright, anyways, let's continue. <gasps> what was that? Hmm. I don't like that screeching noise. Okay, I, I still hear him screeching. Excuse me? Okay, that was weird. Anyways, um... <laughs> Sorry, I was a bit confused in a second. Alright, guys, it is time to actually fight one of the worst enemies in the game, but also... Easy if you end up using super missiles. Ooh. Oh. Say hello to the creatures that the space part that the Chozos have now become. These are known as the Chozo Ghosts. Spectral entities, bioelectric field, invulnerability to natural energy. As these in entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with an x-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural to natural energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corruption effect of the Phazon and Talon 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to the Chozo religious sites where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. So yeah, they they are not weak to Well, uh, it does that. Anyways, yeah, they're not weak to um, wave beam, and they are not weak to um, any of the other beams. So only use power beams to actually dealt with them quickly. Now, it's kind of weird though that they are weak to the power beam. However, because you know, I guess they need um, regional climate. Okay, game. I I get it. I'm gonna go ahead and go get that. I'm, th th that's kind of the reason why I'm here. Wow, that's a very inappropriate way of telling me to go ahead and go get something. Now these Chozo, they all they do is that they just dash around and they shoot white, um, bolts at you? I actually don't know what the hell, I don't know what the crap they're shooting at you. But if you do shoot them with one missile and then manage to shoot them again, they'll just die relatively quickly. It's kind of weird though, because it kind of ends up saying that Samus is kind of killing her own kind. Because, you know, she was raised by birds. Alright, game. What? Why? 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 What is it? What is it? Yeah, I know. I, I know. That's where I'm going to. Sheesh. God, game can't even freaking wait. Anyways, coming back here and killing those three Chozo ghosts allows you to get... I think this is the third one. The third of the Chozo artifacts. So it's kind of one of the ones that you're supposed to get in order. I don't know. This is fourth. Never mind. So what is the third one? This is the Artifact of the Wild. Artifact of the Wild? Breath of the Wild? Nah, I'm kidding. That wouldn't make any sense. Alright, and that's another Matrimit unlocked. Anyways, let's move on. Those Chozo ghosts are kind of one of the reasons as to why the space pirates end up having difficulties in fighting. Now, now that we've defeated them, um, I have, like, very major warnings for you guys. Uh, those enemies are kind of recurring enemies to this entire area. So, only in the Chozo area, as you, as you notice from the dialogue, that end up saying that they're only inhabitants in here. So, when we go here, we're going to go ahead and find them. And that can be quite annoying. So, we want to go in... What direction do we want to go through? Because I actually forgot where that... 
Well, actually, mm, you know what? Let's head back to where the power beam is because there is something I do want to get. So let's go here. Let's get out of the morph ball. Get those guys to show up. Or not. Oh, they won't show up yet. Oh, they probably won't show up until we actually meet them in the uh, in their actual temple. Which makes sense, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think that really makes any much. That makes any sense, to be honest. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Anyways, I'm gonna come back here. There is something under. Mm, you know what? That's probably a good point. We. Mm, yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna wait. Because there is something that we can get under there, but the problem is we need the gravity suit and we don't have the gravity suit right now So I'm actually gonna leave those two power-ups alone and Knock them both out at once once we've gotten the gravity suit So right now we need the ice beam because when once we got in the ice beam we need to head <clears throat> We need to head back to that area where the ice door was blocking the path and then we need to make our way back to um we need to make our way back to we need uh, we just need to make our way back there so we can go ahead and be able to get the gravity suit because that pathway will be able to go ahead and give us the gravity suit uh, wait before i forget kill these guys um grab this now i probably could have gotten this before and i was a dope and not being able to get it but yeah, <laughs> we could have gotten that way earlier than I than intended. But whatever, might as well get it. Better not better getting it now than never, you know. Okay, so now we are here. Kill you, kill you. Didn't get hit by you for some reason. I'm not gonna even complain. Get rid of you, pass you, okay. And you know, I still question the logic of street bats and why the crap that all they do is just come at you and then just kill themselves. Whatever. Anyways, let's move on. Now you wanna be quick here, because this is a disappear disappearing blocks. So they do reappear, so don't worry. Oh crap. Now this area here will also have um Chozo Ghost as well. Imagine telling you what locations where all the Chozo. What a crap that I miss you. That's the second time I keep missing you guys. Now, sadly, however, we don't have the capabilities of busting the Bedesium. Okay, now I remember what Bedesium needs. Bedesium. That's a nice door. You can't go through there. We actually we need to. We need to go through the other side. <laughs> the Bedesium needs. Um. It needs frick. Uh, crap. It needs on um, the power bombs. So, yeah. What is this of um, otherworldly um, pestilence that infests the land, seeking out life in its blind need for corruption? Where did the meteor that brought its organics? Was it crafted by alien hands, or is it a roving chunk of the planet that's suffering a violent end? Our minds crawl in horror at the thoughts that long ago in some corner of the universe as yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once cloaked, um, coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have been mighty indeed. And if other meteors from it spread through the space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold fast to the hope that this is not so, that the only surviving remnants of this evil are they are here on Talon 4, then at least there is hope for its eradication. Yeah, that's true. I mean, because if you end up just having it there, then you guys probably don't have to really worry too much. Spoiler alert. Um, no. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now. I'm jumping the gun a bit. No. Because we, we will be seeing the, uh, the, the, the Chozo thing is a bit... The um, the phase on is the one of the things that they decide to go with with the storytelling of this game, and you know what? I'm all for it because it's it works. Okay, we need to use super missiles for this. Okay, and now we need to use our electricity. I said we need to use our electricity. What the? Oh, wait. Something behind the wall seems to have been activated. Oh, well. Alright, I guess. 
Ew. Cool. Oh, these are more Trozo lores? Holy crap. Uh, we'll read those after we've done with this. We've done with this. I know English, guys. I really, really do. Tony Hawk Pro Skaters, bruh! Okay, well, and this is why I'm not a Tony Hawk player. And booyah! Momentum! It works. <laughs> this is actually getting us a missile expansion, I think. Is it getting us a missile expansion? I don't even know. We're doing all this just for a missile expansion. That's very... Uh, that's very odd. Not really. This game seems to really love giving us a bunch of puzzles just to get us missile expansion. Now, for the record, for playing Metroid, you don't have to go ahead and get 100%. I mean, you feel like an ass to not get 100%, to be honest. And that's like a lot of games nowadays where, you know, at some point there are certain games you kind of don't want to get 100%, mainly because of the fact of how tedious it is. AKA Kingdom Hearts 2. Cause to be able to get the secret ending, which, you know, eh. Uh, um, oh, okay. We just wanna go, we just wanna go here, okay. Sorry, I just lost all commentary for like a second and I was just trying to question everything. All right, and I think that's it. All right, um, now let's go ahead and read those very wonderful Chozo lures. If there's this, this, this probably should just snack. I like that. I like doing that. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see how fast I can actually read this. Um, to entrust to the entrusted one. If you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. Your path is fraught with danger, monstrosity. Monstrosities beyond des description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poison urge that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shroud, but they are blinded by their evil design, believing in the black promise of the great poison. They seek to harness it for their own ends. They are the greatest danger when you read the universe of these creatures. You will be the true entrusted one. Okay. So I'm assuming that since Samus is the only person who can probably read these, then it's probably Samus herself. None known if our temple, the cradle, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. For now, it wraps around the that animate that animation abo abomination. Ah, oh, frick me! Cutting it off from the world. Ah, oh, wait, abomination. Wow. Wait, is it abomination? Yeah, it's around that abomination. Obamination. Oh, uh, <sighs> Producing by linking the 12 artifacts should be strong enough. The fact that the, the fate of this world is now left to the one who will collect all the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is approaching. So basically, whoever the entrusted one is, it's probably Samus. Maybe she shows us a gifted with a distant sight and even more begin to learn it as our heart. Harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forward, seeing prophecies in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of the coming day of the breath of the wind. Though we celebrate, we celebrate the distant sight. Many of these visions are dark. The worst of the prophecies and the most common tales of the coming of the worm born from the parasites natured. Nurtured in a poison womb, the worm grows, devouring from within until the world begins to rot. And I completely, my back is like hurting me right now. Uh, born. Ba, 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 ba. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark port portent. Uh, read, kids. Read. It's like the most important thing that you have in your arsenal right now. Because if you don't, they will take it from you. And once you get wait, oh, what's over here? Nothing awesome. Okay, let's continue. All right, now we're about to go ahead and see ourselves another show. Hi, guys, how's it going? Okay, go away. About to go ahead and see ourselves another really another um temple in fact there's actually a temple that is related to 
the one of the artifacts identified as the statue of the Chozo Elder. According to the Chozo lore, these statues served as the watchful guardians of the of tombs and shrines. Its outstretched hands are empty, as if awaiting an offering. All right. Sadly, however, we do have these. Uh, this is a mandatory um, Chozo fight. So, damn it! I oh oh crap! I got him. Ha! <laughs> wow, that was funny. I wasn't expecting to get him. What? Wait. And that's it. Okay, thank God it was only just one of you guys. I thought there was gonna be like three of you idiots. And with that, that's it. Funny enough, these guys do, these are like a reference to the original Metroid. All right, let's see what this has to offer. Things bound to earthly shapes are temporal and frail. Existing in a single dimension, they are fragile, vulnerable, and ultimately mortal. However, not all things obey this law. Shapeless, they wait beyond the realm of perception, emerging only when one arrives who can feel their presence. Such is the will of the Chozo. Our will to defeat the evil sleeping into this planet remains. We desire only to see the darkness beat its end. The will of the Chozo has no mind or reasoning of its own though this will be the entrusted one's trial so you mean to tell me that the reason why i'm fighting all these ghosts is mainly because it's a trial well that's a very odd trial to go ahead and give me guys like seriously i'm actually being legitimately serious so the reasoning for why i'm fighting these guys is because well they need to know that i'm worthy of saving them which makes sense One of these is a Chozo artifact, one of those is just um, progression, and the other one is a missile, Is a, I think it's an energy tank. Can you guess the only ones that we can actually get? In fact, the game actually tells us that we need to come here anyway, so we're about to, we're about to go ahead and get what we really need. I thought I shot that. Thank you. Sheesh, game. Always keep trying to go ahead and tell me that I'm not shooting things properly. Kind of sick and tired of that. Stop doing that. But yeah, we will be coming back here again for when we have the um, plasma beam. But for right now, we don't. So, lol. I will say hold the Z button just in case if there is a spider ball ramp that you're going to be getting to. Because you never really know. Okay, no, never mind. And that's it. Sadly, the two doors here are all are both ice beam. And we can't progress without it, so we, we're, we're probably going to be getting ourselves a beam upgrade, guys. I like the Chozo music that's playing right now. Alright, that will lower the shield. Now, I do know that there is something here. Ah, right here. Before I go ahead and go. This is a map room. Booyah! I mean, I don't really need it, but hey, not many people know where it is. Oh, no, this is a missile fully replenished. Oh, never mind. This is, uh, this is a different thing. Oh, okay. Never mind. I forgot those. You know, there's not a lot of those in the game, you know? Like, I mean, there's one in the final area, obviously, because, well, pff, you're going to be used. That's basically your go-to, your go-to kill. But, yeah, there's not a lot of those in this game. Which is weird, but then again, there's not a lot of that in the um, in the 2D ones either, so it doesn't matter. That will be fair, there's not a lot of them in the friggin' um, the uh, original game, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, hit this to be able to drain the water. For some reason. And you want to stick to the left path. I think it's the left path. And you want the toe to... Whoa, what the crap? Oh, okay. <laughs> I never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, all those fishes are dead, by the way. Don't ask. They, they, they'll live in another life. Anyways, if we shoot this, we'll end up getting a save room, and that's not what we... That's not... We were supposed to go over there. Okay. We open this door. This is the question mark that was telling us to where to go. And we have gotten ourselves another missile upgrade. It's time to chill out. Make all your ice puns now, guys, because we got the ice beam. 
Now, sadly, however, the detail for the ice beam is sadly gone in this one. When you charge the ice beam in the original game, it really it um encased the entire beam in ice, and <sighs> I missed that effect. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's the end of this episode. And the next episode will actually be um doing something else. I actually forgot where we're gonna be going. Actually, I already know where we're gonna be going. We're gonna be going to the Fajana Drifts. But for right now, we're just gonna end the episode here. So I've been CZX, and I'll be seeing you guys next time in the next episode. CZX, over and out. Laters!